to see Thanks us. For us. So thrilled that you're here. Now, Dominic, we were just talking backstage uh, before the show, and we were talking about the fact that you and your wife have inherited a castle <laughs> in Ireland. Yes. Uh, I think from her father. Is that right? You've inherited, yeah, I inherited a castle. She, she's got it. Yeah, it was How a... does one inherit a castle? <laughs> I don't know, you'll have to ask her, but she, no, she... Yeah, her dad had three daughters, so there was... Normally it would go down to the, the son, but there wasn't one, so I've stepped in, you know, nobly to uh, take over <laughs> to that To just role. take it. <laughs> and what do you do? Do you go there? What, how does it...? Well, the, what you have to do is you have to raise enough money to keep the leaky roof on. So that, right. So it was running as a hotel, so I've now become... I've given up acting. I'm now the Basil Fawlty of West Limerick in Ireland. You're all very welcome I to kind of think it suits you. It would be amazing. <laughs> Come along. I can't wait to come and stay. Yeah, I think I'm going to come. I yeah, think I'm no going to come and stay. It's great. You like rain? <laughs> do, I do now I live yeah, here. of course you do. Now I live Everyone. here. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Plus, if you're in a castle, I mean, everything's nice. Exactly. Castle, isn't it? Yeah, but right. you're a fan of trips away. But you just went, Justin, you just went... Did you... You went on an Alaskan camping trip, or you yes. were in a hotel, but the bathroom... Well, it wasn't was... even a hotel. It was a, it was a legit off-the-grid. Cell phones don't work. Nothing, you know... It's off-the-grid completely, like, in a... Log cabin, essentially. And, yeah. Yeah, like you were saying, the bathroom was probably uh, maybe 100, 150 yards away. Snow was like four and a half feet tall. Uh, and you're punching through it because it's in April. So you get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or, you know, <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning or even 6 o'clock in the morning. It's cold outside. And by the time you get there, you've frozen yourself. And, uh, and then you get... You don't want to go back. anymore. It's terrible. You come back and you're like, I just want to be inside. And then you get back and you're like, God, I have pee. <laughs> so you spend... Spend some time going back and forth, yeah. So why did you go? It sounds... <laughs> you know, that, that's the question of my... I ask myself that about a lot of things a lot of the time. <laughs> why do I do what I do? I don't know. It was, it was fun, though. It was, it was good to get out in nature and, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I love nature. Yeah, well, I like the idea Through the window of a cosy room. <laughs> that's what I've realised. And that's what I've realised. Yeah. Right? And it's like, too. Yeah, exactly. Now, you are both... This, this is not a shock. You are both... Handsome men. Stop. No, you are. You are. It's a fact. I don't see that this is up to debate. Not so bad yourself, man. But you are, you are neither of you a stranger to a nude scene, to having to act completely naked. Dominic, were you nervous the first time <laughs> that you had well, to... It's it, my I idea it, of hell. I, I couldn't imagine anything yeah, worse. Yeah, no, I, I got it totally wrong the first time. I'd read somewhere that Richard Gere used to... Before a, a nude scene, when he walked around on set naked just to get everyone used to it, and for some unbelievable reason, I thought that would be a good idea. So I did it. <laughs> in, it was in Rome, in Cinecitta, in that famous, you know, Fellini had made famous, and I'm walking around bollock naked in. Wow. Uh, uh, and and this this I remember this props guy who all the props guys in the UK come from North London, and he came over to me, went, uh, he said, no one said a word, everyone just sort of looked away as I was walking around, <laughs> striding around like this, and he came over and he went. I didn't realise it was so cold in here, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've constantly got your, your, your top off on television. You've always got your torso off. And I don't blame you. If well, I had your body, I would rarely ever be clothed. Oh. Honestly. Well, I rarely am. Uh, no, but it's like a scripted thing, sort of. It's a choreographed thing, so you have this sort of moment that's supposed to be intimate and there's only two people there most of the time, right? <laughs> and you're doing this love scene or whatever you might be doing and it's, it ends up being, there's grips here and there's, you know, guys that look like linebackers sure. hold the lights over you and they're like, cut, makeups, reset. And so it's very the opposite of what it ends up looking like. But we, we always asked uh, on the affair, we used to, because we had to do so many of these scenes, we yeah. used to ask for suggestions from the crew. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what, what should we do next? And I remember one guy going, reverse cowgirl! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't want it to get stained. I still don't know what that is. Oh. <laughs> you know? I do. You've done that. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. There was a lady in our audience whooped at the thought. She went, <laughs> woo! She, yeah. She's an old hand at that one. Now, Justin, I know how you keep in fit... I know how you keep in such great shape. You posted a video of a workout. Uh, we've got it here, and you've got something strange on your body while you're working out. Look at yeah. this. <laughs> now, is the chain... Are the chains there to add weight or just to right. alert other people that you're doing push-ups? Well, that could, that could be it, too. Yeah, watch. no, that could be yeah. it, too. I, I'm basically just kind of go gullible sometimes. I get talked into things that are, you know, way too difficult. It's kind of uh, kinky. 
Thank you. Thank you. No, it, it does. It, 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 to answer your question, though, it does add weight. Like, as you're, as you're pushing up the weight uh, of the chain that's on the ground, comes off the ground and adds to the weight that you're pushing. So it's right. a proper way of training. But it does add some noise, too, so people know what you're doing. I yeah. Guess. yeah. The last thing I need to do when working out is add any weight. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever goes to me, this would be good, James. We need to add a few more pounds here, and it'll really...